Hello, Internet. After this video, I will have covered every bit of information in the character configuration menu, at least the information that hasn't been updated during the making of this series. But regardless, this will be the last one. This video will be on the log window settings. So let's get started. Starting out in the general tab, we have display name settings. And here we can change all the information about the display names within the log window. For display name type, you can change the format for anybody talking in your chat. So you can change all the, like, whether you want it to be their initials, their surname abbreviated, forename abbreviated, all that good stuff. You can also choose to display whether you want to show the world that that person is from, if they're from a different world than you. Over here in party and alliance chat settings, you can display an icon for their class or their role next to their name in their chat if you want to do that, or you can choose not to. You can display their class and job abbreviations, and you can also choose to change the color of that person's name, depending on their role, TPS, healer, and all that. By the way, you can see everything you are changing right here at the bottom, so you may get a little preview of what you can see in your dungeons and raids and all that. You can also change the color of the different roles. You have to have this role color settings applied, but after that, you can completely change whatever color. If you want the DPS to not be red, or maybe be a lighter shade of red, you can do that. Under display name settings, we have a log window settings where we can change the prompt font size of the text you are typing within the log window. So you can make it really big if you want, or really small. Enable lip sync during chat will allow your character's mouth to move when you're typing in chat. If you disable that, that won't happen. The next toggle is enable profanity filter, which will censor out any bad words you put into chat or, or bad words that other players put into chat. Display error messages when actions fail will play a sound as well as display an error on your screen when you can't do an action. Display recast timer error messages will display an error message whenever you try to use an ability that's on cooldown. This only works if you have display error messages when actions fail enabled. Display altitude error messages will give you an error message when you fly too high with your mount. Enable log window item linking will allow you to view information about items that have been linked in your chat. Enabled of, enable resizing of log window. With this enabled, you can grab this little icon on the top right of your log window and just make your log window bigger if you want to. You can make it like half the size of your screen if you want. For the next section, timestamp settings, you first need to go over to the log details tab and check the add timestamps to messages within your log details in order to view the time of messages being sent in your log window. With that checked, you can then change the whether you want that time to be local time or the server time, and you can also display that time in 24-hour format or 12-hour format. Below timestamp settings, we have log text colors, and if you click on the log text colors button, you can see this menu. Within here, you can change the color of all of the different notifications you get in your chat log, including say, yells, shouts by other players, as well as announcements, battle messages, you can change the color of everything and completely personalize your chat log. The final section here in your general tab is log filters. And within log filters, you have these different numbers. These numbers represent the different tabs you have down here on your chat log. You can view all of them right here. You have general, battle, event. I think these ones are by default, um, but you can also make new ones and delete them if you want by right clicking and clicking delete, or you can rename the tabs. And you can make a new one by hitting this plus button here. I believe four is the max, which is why I can't do it, but you can co customize the different tabs here. You can utilize these tabs to view different types of information, and you can edit that right here in log filters. All you need to do is pick one of the tabs that you have down here and click on it, and you can completely customize what you see within the log in that tab. So if you only want to see, let's say, party stuff, like I have in this tab, like party texts, like says, yells, and stuff like that, you get in an alliance raid or, or something like that, you don't want to see any of anything else, then you can just do that if you want. So it's good to utilize that so you're only seeing information in your chat log that you want to see, and there's not a lot of clutter. For this next tab, log details, we have different sections here for each of those tabs we have down here in our logs. And with each of those sections within our log details, we can change font size, add timestamps and messages, and change log window transparency. So if you want to make your text like super large, you can do that. 
or you can just keep it at 12 if you want to do that as well. Adding timestamps to messages will let you just add timestamp to your messages, as I talked about earlier. And log window transparency will change the transparency of the entire log window, because sometimes it may be hard to read text when there's certain backdrops behind it, and if you just lower the transparency, you can just straight up see everything. One thing to take note of though, is if you were to change the settings of any of these other logs that are below the number one in rank, you're not gonna see any difference. So I have dungeon array to 36 right now, but if I go here, it's still at 12. The only way you're gonna actually see the changes to your dungeons and raids log is if you just grab the dungeons array log and just pull it up here then you can actually see the different changes. So you can change dungeon array, the transparency, and all that. So you have two different logs of differing transparencies and differing sizes of text. And if we were to bring it back in, bring it back in here, you won't see that change again. So it's only if it's separate from the highest, the highest ranked log. Now the final tab in the entirety of the character configuration settings is probably also my favorite tab and that's notification sounds the reason this is my favorite tab is because i often miss chat messages from party members and people like that and until chat bubbles are implemented this is the next best thing so what this does is it gives you a no sound notification whenever somebody sends you a message. So by default, tell is enabled, which will give you the type one notification. And you can also choose the other different types of messages you want a sound notification associated with. So you just check which ones you would like a sound notification for, like party members, alliance, things like that, even your link shells. And you can choose the sound that you want to be played when you receive one of those notifications. You have a total of 16 different types of sounds to choose, and you can sample that sound here on the right. This way you'll never miss another chat message is because you'll have a big ol' sound notification blasting in your ear whenever someone sends you a message in party chat. And that just about wraps up not only the log window settings, but also this entire character configuration settings series. I made the first video for this series over a year ago now, so it almost feels like an end of an era. But this has been a big practice for me in creating videos and thumbnails, because I'm not entirely used to doing it, as you can tell. But yeah, anyway guys, Thank you so much for everybody who liked my videos and subscribed to my channel. But anyway, I'm not sure how to end this other than saying thank you and I'll see you later. Bye.